Hello friends, students and viewers, hope you are well and staying at home. So in this video, I am uh, showing you that how the formal regions are delineated by weighted index method. When uh, two parameters are given. So before going to the delineate of the formal region, first we should know what is formal region and what are the parameters used to delineate the formal region. A formal region may be defined by the same physical and cultural properties demarcated by the official boundaries or administrative boundaries or any even geographic region. So mainly two types of parameters are used to delineate the formal region. One is physical and cultural. So in physical um, parameters, it includes the relief, climate, elevation and natural vegetation, etc. But in cultural parameters, it includes the density of population, per capita income, sex ratio, health facilities, percentage of agricultural labor, percentage of school going students, unemployment, purchasing power parity, then religion, language, density of population, total population, safe drinking water, etc. So here is the question uh, that asked actually to delineate the formal region on the basis of unemployment and per capita income, these two parameters. So here for uh, row is given, uh, the first row shows the serial number then block name uh, for convenience i have written it as a b c d like this then employment in per unemployment in percentage per capita income in rupees so from the previous table we have to find out the weighted index so serial number block name unemployment in percentage and per capita this four column is given in our question which are demarcated by purple color and we have to select two things that is uh, weight this is first weight i have written it as w1 and the second was second one is w2 so w1 for unemployment in percentage and w2 for per capita income it is very simple uh, to choose a uh, suitable weight here the lowest value is 2.53 and the highest value is 9.28 on the basis of this value you have to select a weight here i have selected that two weights for every one percent of unemployment this is an arbitrary value you can select two three four suitably so on this uh, on the basis of this weight you have to find out this value it is very simple to find out uh, this value so for block a we have percentage of unemployment is 2.53 and weight is 2 so in this way 2.53 into 2 we got 5.06 here you can see in the um, previous uh, table that Uh, the given unemployment percentage is 2.53 and weight is 2 so 2.53 into 2 5.06 then 3.78 into 2 equals to 7.56 again 3.40 into 2 then 6.80 in this way you have to find out all these value next is per capita income after applying weights so here the per capita income these values are larger value that's why we have to select and standard uh, sorry base standard so here the highest value is 1000 that's why i have chosen 1000 as a base standard if this value would the i mean uh, smaller than like these values then no need to select this standard or base standard value as the values are larger that's why i have selected this base standard okay so how to find out these values here uh, column b per capita income after applying weights so 
for block a the given per capita income is actually uh, 1000 and base standard is 1000 so 1000 minus 1000 is 0 and 0 divided by 50 equals to 0 0.00 in this way for block b the base standard is 1000 and given value is 987 so 1000 minus 987 in 13 and 13 divided by 50 equals to 0 0.26 here you can see in the previous table that is here it is 1000 so 1000 minus 1000 equals to 0 divided by 50 because 50 is our weights so it is 0 in this way it is 0 0.26 and again this one here it is 800 so 800 and the base standard is 1000 so 1000 minus 800 equals to 200 then 200 divided by 50 that means 4 so in this way you have to find out all these values okay so next or last column is total weights so total weights here i have already written that a and b are taken together that means this is our a column and this is our b column just we have to add these two value uh, column a and column b value then you will get the um, total weights so here first one is 5.06 and the um, b column is it is 0 0.00 so 5.06 plus 0 equals to 5.06 in this way 7.56 uh, plus 0 0.26 equals to 7.82 just add this value mm, i mean this one and this one here i have already explained how to find out the column c's value for block a this one plus this one and you will get 5.06 in this way and so on next you have to categorize on the basis of weight and the how many formal regions are there so i have classified here into two categories that is first and second category but this is not fixed you can categorize it into more than two uh, two regions also so the first region which i renamed as uh, economically advanced region and the second region which i renamed as economically backward region for economically advanced region i considered more than 11 weights that mean in column c this value those having more than 11 weights will be considered as economically advanced region and the value less than 11 which will be considered as the economically backward region so this less than sorry less than 11 and more than 11 is not fixed it is your choice to consider next on the basis of this weight uh, we have to uh, um, find out the, how many numbers uh, number of blocks are in this group so we have total seven blocks in economically advanced region and five blocks in economically backward region after that we have to find out or calculate the mean and standard deviation for economically advanced and backward regions so this table uh, shows the economically advanced uh, regions data and this table for backward regions so in economically advanced uh, region we have total seven blocks so and their weights are here i have already put this value so this will be considered as x value just sum up this x value that mean find out the summation x value and then divide it by n so here the summation x value is 106.64 and total number of items is 7 so in individual series the formula for mean is summation x by n that's why we calculate our sum of all these x value and then divide it by n n mean total number of items so we have total 7 items that's why 
uh, 106.64 by 7 equals to 15.23 so this is our mean value or x bar value after that we have to find out the d square value so here is an uh, explanation how to find out this d square value i have already explained here also so x minus x bar here these are the x value so x minus x bar it is 12.50 12.50 minus x bar so 15.23 and its whole square in this way it is uh, minus 2.73 and its square equals to 7.45 so i have written here 7.45 in this way we have to find out all these d square value d square value and after that standard deviation value so for individual series the formula is root over summation fd square by n so here summation fd square n for economically advanced people is 40.85 so 40.85 divided by n mean total number of items or total number total serial number that means 7 so 40.85 divided by 7 root over equals to 2.42 in this way for backward region we also calculate uh, we have to calculate uh, the standard deviation value and here it is 2.22 so on the basis of uh, weight and uh, mean value uh, we have to delineate the regions here i have drawn an arbitrary region to show the map so here this is a b c d e f then g h i j k so of these blocks d e f g h i and l these seven blocks are delineated as economically advanced region that means these yellow blocks are advanced region whereas these purple blocks represents the economically backward region next interpretation so on the basis of mean then standard deviation uh, for economically advanced and economically uh, backward region uh, we have to uh, interpret the data so i am showing you how to interpret in interpretation portion you uh, just mention the mean value that mean for economically advanced uh, region the mean value is 15.23 whereas in backward region the uh, uh, sorry the mean value is 8.93 that mean this region is economically sounded whereas this region is uh, um, this region is uh, classified as backward region and you can see also the standard deviation value here it is 2.42 whereas in this case it is 2.22 so thank you for watching